Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sonic Music Releases, the series where I talk about physically released Sonic music from over the years. And today we have two items that you might have never heard of before, because they're not really related to any game or anything like that. They're from the very early days of Sonic music, when Sonic music releases were just weird things with Sonic on the cover and the music wasn't really related to Sonic. I am of course talking about The Better One Wins, by Tick featuring Michelangelo single and the better one wins a compilation album both share the same name so let's just uh, jump right in and I'll give you a little history lesson on this bad boy so this was released in 1992 the specific date is unknown as is the retail price but it was released in Germany and it was published by MCA records and distributed by BMG what is this I hear you asking. This is a single that doesn't really sound Sonic related. Maybe it samples some sound effects here and there, but as you can see, the cover definitely uses Sonic. It is straight up a screenshot from Sonic 1, but the HUD is actually changed to the artist information, and that is actually really cool. I'd love to see that done on like a modern release today, but title, the better one wins. Artist TIC featuring Michelangelo. I've never heard of them, have you? Uh, maybe if you're in Germany or you were in Germany, I don't know. Maybe they were popular, maybe they weren't. I think this is like an indie release, so <laughs> probably not too popular. Time, there are three songs on here, so one is 325, one is 724, and one is 449. And thanks for listing the BPM, because we absolutely needed that on the front cover. So I apologize about the barcode right here, but let me take this out. Now you can see the cover in all of its glory with no barcode on it. Turning it around. Uh, we can see the track list, which, again, for this one I won't put up on screen because there are just three songs and they're right there. We have the radio cut, the cyber racer cut, and the instrumental cut. Cyber racer is actually a reference to a British TV ad for the Mega Drive, a sticker that is not there by production, it was just there by the Discog seller I bought it from. Um, the spine and the side, if it'll focus, there we go, and the barcode, and um, yeah. That's the only other thing to look at here is the disc, which is a cool silver and blue checkerboard pattern. And it has the, uh, you know, the track list on the disc because there's only three. And um, that's pretty much it. The thing about this one, I'm sure you noticed, it is a maxi CD single. So it's very thin and it only has three songs on it. So it's about half the size of a normal CD jewel case. Wow, my camera just does not want to focus. There's the spine in the actual um, jewel case, the catalog number and everything. I do like how the disc looks um, facing outward when it's in the case. It's a nice pattern of blue and silver and a green checkerboard pattern in the back as well. So this thing is worth probably five to fifteen dollars it's really not worth a lot you just got to track one down i got mine for ten dollars shipped off of discogs and there are no bootlegs but i should mention there is a 12 inch vinyl pressing and this actually looks really cool this big art on a uh, a big you know vinyl sleeve i like that quite a bit um as for the record you know, nothing too special on it. It just looks like a normal record. Oh, hit the microphone. Pretty much same thing. It's not like they did anything super jazzy Sonic related on the actual record itself, turning it around. Pretty much identical to how the reverse of the sleeve looked. Just a bigger version of it because it's a vinyl record. Track list all the same and uh, copyright information, all that. Uh, the vinyl record is about is worth about the same not really worth any more or any less um just uh discogs is probably your best bet for both of these and um yeah if you want something vaguely sonic related check it out but yes this leads me to what is called supersonic presentiert which translates to supersonic presents the better one wins and right down here it says Aus der Funk und TV were bung. Uh, that translates to um, from the radio and TV uh, advertising, I think. I just translated it before I started this episode. Looking around 
I'll get into that in a second. Uh, this was released also in 1992. Specific date is also unknown. Also in Germany and published by MCA Records and distributed by BMG, just like the other one was. So what we have here is essentially a compilation album and the early 90s, uh, well, actually, most of the 90s Sonic music was filled with a lot of this stuff. It includes the Better One Wins single from, you know, the, the Maxi CD release. It also includes Supersonic Dance Attack, which I uh, talked about earlier on the show. Cool that they would include that. I believe they were both distributed by the same, you know, company and published by the same company, stuff like that. Humping Around, my favorite Sonic song. So yeah, that is what the cover looks like. I'll take a look at it outside of the jewel case shortly. But here's the back. Um, I actually really like this logo up here with this Sonic head art. That is not really seen anywhere else. I'm pretty sure it was made for this release. As you can see right here, this is worth noting, here's a Right Said Fred song included on this compilation album before he did, uh, you know, the Wonder Man promotion for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And you can see right there, Intergalactica Dance Club, Supersonic Dance Attack, and uh, pretty much everything else is not Sonic related. It even has a Guns N' Roses song. That's kind of interesting. So why don't we open this up and... First, take a look at the pamphlet. Well, it's a booklet, but it's really only... its It just opens. That's pretty much it. And it's a very bare track list on a white background, so not really too amazing. But if you open it the other way... Oh, it doesn't even it doesn't even connect. It just... The better one wins, Speech Bottle. You could put this next to anyone, and they that's what they're saying. So now, we can take a look at the disc. And unfortunately, the compact disc hole is like right in the middle of the Sonic art, which kind of ruins it. But it's there. Uh, Supersonic Prescientiart. All his copyright information, I believe, also... Track list. Yeah, that's what the tra track list is down there. Man, it must suck if you lose the booklet or something and look at the track list. You have to look at this extremely tiny print. Like, oh yeah, track 8 is this or whatever. I mean, who's going to be listening to this in like 2017, but still. And you also notice the tray is black or like a matte gray, gray, black, whatever. Um, I think that's how they came. Uh, the thing about buying them off of Discogs is people switch jewel cases all the time. So I wouldn't be surprised if it came with a clear jewel case. But I did check underneath. There is no image on the, the tray. So this is probably how it came, realistically. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uses the Sonic 1 art. I don't know if I mentioned that. You probably already noticed. It's worth actually about the same as the single. About $5 to $15. I got mine for $8 shipped. Um, very, very inexpensive. Um, it's kind of cool, and in fact, before I got it, I don't know why I thought it was a vinyl record, and then when I got it in the mail, I'm like, this is too small to be a vinyl record, and it was a CD, and it doesn't even come on vinyl, it's just as a CD, I don't know why I thought it was. So yeah, if you want two, you know, vintage early pieces for your Sonic music collection, go after these, because they're pretty cheap, and you can probably find them pretty easily, uh, at least on websites like Discogs. Um, on eBay... If you find them, it'll probably just be asking more money because it's eBay. And of course, there are no bootlegs of either one because it's Germany. And who, who's going to bootleg The Better One Wins by TIC featuring Michelangelo? Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Sonic Music Releases, and I'll catch you in the next one.